Hello everybody and welcome to day 10 of our flab fighting tips. Now before we start, I just want to make it aware that everybody at home, these tips are not suitable for children, okay? Today's tip, not suitable for vegans neither. Sorry guys. And if you have heart disease or you've been advised by your doctor to follow a low cholesterol diet, then this tip isn't really aimed at you neither. Now today guys, what we're going to be talking about is fat, okay? Now, fat does not make you fat. Fat is really important. We need fats in our diet to make your body work. They are really important. And what I've got here is a nice variety of different types of fat. Okay, we've got bacon. Mmm, sorry vegans, that's mine. We've got delicious pork chops. We've got mince. We've got sausage. We're going to have a really good chat about sausage today. Okay. We've also got avocado, very high fat, very, very healthy. We've got some nuts. We've got butter. We've got soft cheese. We've got cheese. We've got milk. We've got mackerel and things like that that are really high fat. But fat is very, very good for you. You need fat in your diet to survive, okay? It's perfectly natural. Now, have a look at that tooth, right there. That is called a canine tooth, okay? Because humans, we're mammals, okay? And we've been born and bred to eat meat. It is normal, that is what we are supposed to do. Now, a lot of meat has a very high fat content and that's absolutely fine, we need it, guys. And again, you've got things like nuts, these are very high calorie, but they're also high fat, good fat. You need fat in your diet to survive. Now, let's talk about sausages first before we get started, okay? Now, whenever anybody goes on a diet, the first thing they think they need to do is cut out fried breakfast. Nah, fam, you don't. And they'll go, all right, that's it. I'm going to cut the fat off my bacon. What are you doing? It's the best bit. Stop it. Leave it alone. But sausages, now, we all like sausage. I am a big fan of sausage. Moose likes sausage, don't you? Oof, yes, she does. Now, did you know that a sausage only has to be 20% meat to call itself a sausage? Have you ever looked at the back of the packet to see what else is in it? No, okay. Now, I've got a variety of sausages here. So these ones I picked up this morning from Morrison's. They have a 53% meat content. 53, 53, almost half. That's it, half this sausage is meat. So what's the rest, guys? Wheat flour. So what they're doing in your supermarkets, guys, is they're taking your lovely, delicious meat, we don't care if it's fatty, we're not bothered, and they're filling it full of complex carbohydrates. Really? Now, fat will not make you fat. What will make you gain weight is complex carbohydrates and sugar. When you eat those two food groups to excess above your daily allowance, your body is going to store them as fat, okay? Those are the things that are bad for you. So when you are buying sausages, if you're eating healthy, and you put yourself in a nice healthy eating diet for fit fed, you can eat sausages. Everybody likes sausage, get them inside you. But check the back of the packet, okay? It needs to be 80% or more, or put them back, guys. Cheap sausages, dirty. They're going straight to the food bank tomorrow, okay? I'm not interested in those. If you go and buy extra special sausages, now what we're looking at here is the gluten free. Why are they gluten free? <laughs> Let's have a look. So, in your gluten-free Cumberland sausages, 83% pork, thank you. These are good. Now, they are gluten-free, uh, so they have been, they've had all the gluten taken out. There are still some complex carbohydrates in there, guys, okay. And what we're looking at is um, rice flour, chickpea flour. Chickpea flour is absolutely fantastic. Um, and rice is so much better for you than filling it full of flour. When you go and buy your sausages, please, at the supermarket, start checking the pack. If it's not 80% more meat, don't buy them. And gluten-free is gonna be much better for you because they're switching out those complex carbohydrates that they're using flour. Now, we talked about flour last week. We don't like that, devil's work. But they're putting it in with rice flour. Much, much better for you, okay? Right, stop cutting the meat. Stop taking the fat off, you don't need to. Fat is really good for you. So remember, when you're eating all of this delicious meat and cheese, you don't have to give up cheese because it's fit fat. I bloody love cheese. Get it down here. 
what will make you gain weight is when you take these delicious fats. Now I'm gonna move these over here and change my camera around so you can see. What makes you gain weight, guys, is when you start mixing all of these delicious fats that are really, really good for you with complex carbohydrates, mm, naughty. So we're talking about bread. Yeah, everybody eats bread. I'm gluten-free, it's horrible, dirty stuff. But when you take your nice 80% meat sausages that are really good for you, or you fry off that bacon that you love, when you put it between two slices of bread, you're instantly making it bad for you, okay? And it's the complex carbohydrates and the sugars that are in the complex carbohydrates as well that are gonna make you gain weight. So if you wanna have a cooked breakfast, I have a cooked breakfast most days, guys. No bread, leave it alone. No hash browns, leave it alone. No complex carbohydrates because fat will not make you fat, okay? So try and ditch the bread. Now I know ditching bread is really hard work, guys. If you can just get yourself down to one portion of bread a day, that is gonna make a massive difference to the amount of weight that you can lose during fit fair, okay? Now, the other things that we've got here, oh, sausage rolls. No, put them down, they're bad for you. You've taken that delicious protein, all those meats and fats, that's protein. Your body needs them. And you've just ruined it and made it really, really unhealthy. Mm -mm. Pasta. Now, basically, anything made from flour. Now, this is gluten-free flour, but I'm talking about your flour at home. Because we have a rule in my house. If I can't eat it, it don't come in the house. And if somebody brings it in the house, they're getting a slap. Okay, because it's not for me. It's not fine. It's my life. Hmm. So, if it has flour in it, it becomes a complex carbohydrate. That becomes a naughty food when you are trying to lose weight. Now, children, they need, you know, they burn calories like they're like they're coming out their ears, don't they? That's why these tips are never directed towards children. But as a rule, eat the bacon, fry off some eggs, do it, get those sausages inside you. Don't mix them in the bread. Don't mix them in the pastry, the pastry, the bread, anything made from flour, bad times. Pasta. We all love spag bomb. We all love like lasagnas and things like that. But when you're trying to lose weight, you're taking that delicious meat with those good for your fats and you're mixing them with complex carbohydrates. Yes, I'm a child, I buy the ones with the kiddie pictures on. And then the same applies, biscuits. Oh yeah, so you've got your butter, you've got your, you've got your fats, and then you've just got a hell of a lot of sugar and complex carbohydrates. Guys, you're taking your good fat and you're ruining it. You're making it dirty. Biscuits, I'm a big fat no, okay. But if you want to eat fat, and I'm on my own today, so bear with me, I've got to move my camera around. You do not have to follow a fat-free diet. You don't have to do it to lose weight. Fat will never, ever, ever make you fat. So keep eating all the meat. We love meat. Eat it. You don't have to cut the fat off, guys. What you need to do is stop mixing it with complex carbohydrates and sugar, because that is when the bad things happen. Now, again, as we said at the beginning of the video, if you've been advised by your doctor to lower your cholesterol, that means lowering your fat intake. I'm sorry, guys. So this tip doesn't apply to you. Or vegans. Nah. <laughs> sorry, guys. I don't hate vegans. It's just us celiacs. Like, we don't like vegans. Celiacs, is they get more choice than us in the restaurants and there's nothing wrong with them we're the ones with the health conditions do you know what I mean so fat is good fat will not make you fat but when you take your delicious natural good for you fats all fats good for you guys when you mix it with complex carbohydrates and sugar that's when it turns into becoming really really bad for you so eat the meat on its own you don't need to be mixing it with the complex carbohydrates and trust me you will notice a huge difference straight away you'll notice that you're going to bloat less you're going to feel slimmer you're going to have a lot more energy and you're going to be a lot happier in yourself as well protein meat it's good for you you need protein i have a very high 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 fat protein diet 
that can sometimes make you fat on the inside, okay? Now, it would take a long time to make yourself fat on the inside, um, but basically it becomes what's called visceral fat, and the fat then will actually line the organs inside your body. So when you are eating a lot of protein, it is good for you, but if you find yourself suddenly not eating a lot of carbs and eating a lot of sausage, you want to start thinking about putting in some good meat as well, some fat-free meat, which would be like chicken and turkey. Um, but on average, you don't need to worry about that, you really don't. Fat does not make you fat. Complex carbohydrates and sugar will make you gain weight. And guys, read the back of the packet. Honestly, it's gonna shock the pants off you. But I like sausage, and I know that everybody that I know, apart from vegans, um, we like sausage too, all right? So please check, it only has to be 20% meat to be called a sausage on the packet. 80% or more, guys, that's what you're looking for. All right, so thank you for tuning in. That does not make you fat. Now tomorrow, I'm going to be giving you all a cookery lesson, and I'm actually cooking for you, and I'm going to do it Blue Peter style. Here's one I made earlier. And what we're going to talk about tomorrow is how you can take all of this delicious fat, and you can actually make a meal out of it, but lower the carbohydrates. So there's some amazing swaps. I've got some fantastic products to share with you. I'm very excited. And I will see you all tomorrow. So remember guys, fat does not make you fat. Eat that sausage, get it around. Uh, enjoy yourself. Mwah. Carry on guys, you are doing amazing in FitFab. I'm so, so proud of you. I know you want some sausage, baby. I'll give you some sausage. Bye guys.